I'm just gonna make that look a little bit decent. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday and I decided that I am going to be staying home tonight and chilling in my pajamas and drinking some hot cocoa while binge watching some Netflix and doing some artwork. That sounds pretty awesome to me. It's seriously so cold where I live right now and the last thing that I wanna do is go outside. So I am staying nice and cozy in my zip up and pajamas. Look how awesome that looks. These pajamas literally feel like there are sheeps. Sheep? Can you say sheeps? On my legs. Seriously, it's so soft and it literally keeps me so warm, literally. So today's video is going to be a DIY video, kind of, because I'm not really making anything. I will show you, but it's basically a photo frame that I'm going to be using in a different way instead of just putting photos. I wanted to make this video because I looked at my walls recently in my room and I decided that I don't like the decor. I don't really like the color scheme because there wasn't really a color scheme going on in the first place. And I just kind of wanted to redo things in my room and just make it better. If you guys like these type of videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up so I know to make more DIYs in the future. I really love doing DIYs because I'm all about saving money and I don't know, I feel like it just gives a little bit more personality to your room or decor or whatnot. So without further ado, let's get started. On one of my walls, I had a photo frame collage thing that you can get anywhere. You can get it at Michaels, you can get it at Target, you can get it basically anywhere. I had a lot of pictures on there, but I felt like it didn't really have a theme to it. So I decided to stick to a black, white, and gold theme in my room. And on one side of my wall, I already have little paintings that I did in black, white, and gray. No, not gray. Black, white, and gold. So I wanted to stick to those colors. So for all the pictures that I chose to put into my photo frame, I actually edited it edit it, it, edit, I edit it, and I edit it and I changed it to black and white because I wanted to stick to, like I said, those color schemes. And since I really love traveling, I wanted to tie the whole theme together and use pictures and souvenirs and whatnot from places that I have gone to, just so I have something to look back on. So I actually only filled out eight out of the 11 photo frames with pictures. Seven of them are just in the photo frame like you normally would put photos in a frame. And for one of the small sections of the photo frame, I just wanted to put in my ticket to Korea because it was just really awesome to go back to Korea and see my family again so I wanted to definitely keep that in there it's really hard for me to change the photos in this photo frame because this has one backing so if I want to change one photo I literally have to take everything out and the glass falls and so it's just really annoying for me to do so I wanted to make one photo interchangeable so I started by getting a sturdy string and I initially cut the string to the size of the frame but I found that it's actually a lot sturdier to wrap the string around the glass and then I placed a clip through the string and placed it in front of the glass and then put the backing on so that I could actually change the photo whenever I want. And for the last two frames, I decided to put a quote in one and a souvenir in the other. And for the quote, I wanted to stick to something really simple and really short. And so I chose good vibes only. I think it's super cute and it kind of just relates to me. I actually had some letter stickers already from another, I guess, DIY that I did previously and so I just used that. It was originally black but I wanted to give a little bit more color to the frame so I colored it with a gold pen that I got from Michaels and then I went ahead and applied gold metallic paint because it just kind of made the color pop a little bit more. For the last photo frame I decided to do something similar to the one that I did with the circle frame and use a string and instead of putting a photo I actually wanted to use a souvenir. So these are two sunglasses that I got from two different places, one from Atlanta and one from Texas. So I thought it'd be a really good way to not only include pictures but also souvenirs that I really treasure. As far as the placement of the photo frame I decided to put it on top of my head not on top of my head, like on top of my head playing like a headboard. I'm playing like a headboard because I don't have a headboard on my bed and I decided that it would be a cute way to make it look like I have a headboard but not really and I think it turned out really really cute. I really love it compared to what I had initially and I just think it's a really good way to use a photo frame in a different sense as opposed to just using photos 
because I don't know, I feel like this just makes it a little bit more different and gives it a little bit more texture. So that wraps up this video on my quick and easy DIY photo frame. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked it, make sure to thumbs up. And if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I make videos every single Sunday and I'm going to now enjoy Netflix and my hot chocolate. And I will talk to you guys next Sunday. Bye. Also, don't forget to check out my previous video for the giveaway. Seriously though, this hot chocolate. I'm in love with hot go go. So, what do you guys do on Friday nights? Let me know down below.